Hey gang, Matt here from Tucker Barbecues. I'm just gonna go through the insulation jacket for the Fryer Tuck models, the two burner and the four burner. Okay, so let's go with this. Firstly, we've opened the box up and we go through all of our parts. We have for two sure. side panels, one base panel, the rear shelf guard with the wool insulates the back, pole for the front to hold it together, two bolts to hold the actual insulation jacket into the barbecue. And we've got some screws here to actually attach the wall panels to the base here. Okay, so let's start with this now. Before we start the assembly of the insulation jacket on the fry tuck, what we need is the fry tuck upside down on a good surface steady surface to actually put all this together. Okay, you'll see why. Also, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 mil spanner for all this. Firstly, attach the rear insulation wall support brackets to the rear filler panel. Secure these using the small nuts and spring washers provided. Next, remove the insulation wall from the back of one of the side panels to allow yourself room to insert a nut plate inside the side panel. Using a Phillips head bolt, attach the rear filler panel to the rear of the side of the panel by pushing the bolt through the back of the rear filler panel and then through the back of the side panel. Securing the bolt into the nut plate, you insert into the inside of the side panel. Now refit the insulation wool back into the side panel, taking care to ensure the wool covers the entire surface inside the side panel. Now the next step is to take the same side panel and attach it to the side of the barbecue. For now, attach the side panel to the barbecue using the rear attachment hole only in the side panel and barbecue. Be careful when pushing the bolt through the side panel and insulation wall. Try to keep the bolt straight so that it will line up with the nut that is welded inside the side panel of the barbecue. When you think you have the bolt lined up with the nut in the barbecue, slowly screw into the side of the barbecue. Now the remaining side panel needs to be attached to the the rear filler panel. Remove the wool from the side panel just enough to allow you to insert the nut plate and then push the attachment bolt through the rear filler and the back of the side panel and attach the bolt into the nut plate a couple of turns only. This will allow you to able to flex the side panel enough to stuff the insulation wool back into the place inside the side panel. Now take the front rail and push it through the location hole in one of the front edges of the side of the panel. Then insert the other end of the front rail into the location location hole in the opposite side panel. Now you can finish attaching the side panels to the barbecue using the remaining two bolts and then tighten all the nuts and bolts up. Now place the rear insulation wall in between the back of the barbecue and the rear insulation wall support brackets. Next remove the insulation wall from the base panel and attach the two barbecue support brackets to the opposite side of the base panel. Now remove the rubber cap from off the manifold inlet of the barbecue and slide the hose hole cover plate over the top of the gas inlet shaft and then replace the rubber cap. Place the insulation wall back into the base panel. Go over the nuts and bolts again to check they are all tightened and secure. Now go over the nuts and bolts again to check for tightness. Then turn the barbecue over and check the hose hole cover plate is positioned correctly. The gas hose can be reconnected now or after the barbecue has been installed. Whichever way is easier for you depending on the installation access. When you finish installing the barbecue you can polish it over just with a bit of stainless steel cleaner or cooking oil just to rub it over just to give it that nice clean okay thank you for watching i hope that this is um, beneficial to you once again thank you for purchasing tucker barbecues